Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. Now over the summer, Yaesu had some amazing offers with their new radios, you know, stuff like the FTDX 101, the FTDX 10, uh, the 710 as well. I mean, that was a great offer. But one thing I did notice is that a lot of you only bought the radio. Now, we may have let you down and not actually shown you any of the additional accessories that you could put with those radios. And with that in mind, I'm going to go through a selection of goodies that you may want to add to that brand new radio and sort of bulk out your shack a little bit more and obviously get the best performance from your radio too. Now, the first thing that you're probably going to notice is when you open the box, you're going to have one of these. So this is your standard fist mic for a Yesu. So this would have come maybe with your 101, FTDX10, FT710. Now, I'll stop you there. If it is slightly different to this one, it's dependent on the model obviously but we're going to go with this one for now i mean these are great yes they sound lovely they're easy to hold easy to use however you might want an additional microphone for the shack so you might want to be kicking back in your nice leather chair operating having a nice rag chew now if that's the case we've got something for you so bear with me a second while i quickly grab another microphone now here we go so this is yesu's m70 microphone I wouldn't say it's a starter microphone in their range, but it's, it's one of the, uh, the better value microphones. Um, condenser mic fitted into here. You've got your PTT, which is a, a nice soft. So you might remember, I'll say it's not a soft touch to it. So you might remember the older microphones where it was a click and a click and a click. These are very nice. There we go. Nice soft touch to that. And it's textured as well, so it won't slip off. And also you've got a lock here as well. So you can lock down and rack you for hours and hours and hours. So the M70 is a great choice. And what I will show you is the rear of the microphone as well. On the base here, you'll see we've got the eight pin socket here and also the RJ socket. So depending on which radio you've bought, you're going to be covered. And, and that's a clever clever thing with these Yesu microphones is you can basically switch it around. I'll show you the lead in a moment, but you can basically switch it around to whichever radio you're using. So, you know, you don't always have to buy two or three microphones. You can stick with the one. So let's get that out of the way. I'll show you that lead now before we go on to the next one. So this is the lead it comes with. So as you can see, you've got your eight pin as you would do on your standard fist microphone, your RJ as well. As we said, quickly bring that back over. This will plug into here. There we go. And then this can go straight into your radio and you're operating straight away, not a problem. Okay, so let's get that out of the way there. And I'm gonna show you another option. So the M70 said, nice and simple microphone, very easy to operate, not too much to worry about. Condenser microphone, you can do your settings on the radio. So you're gonna be fine. Now, this one is the M90 microphone. This is the kit version of it. I'm going to show you what's called the kit version. Just attach that to here. Okay, there we go. So as I said, this is the M90 kit version. There is a standalone desktop version available too, which is I think the M90D. However, the good thing with this one is we supply this with this elbow joint kind of desk mount. Here we go. And you can put the microphone onto the top here which means you can sit there, you can have some dinner if need be, you can have your tea, you can log, all whilst you've got the microphone there. And then you're probably saying to me, well, how am I gonna operate that, Tony? Obviously you can do it via Vox if need be. However, those clever guys and girls at Yesu supply it with this. So you've got your cable here, which you can plug in, and then your PTT as well. So that's the M90 kit microphone. And as I said, there is a desktop version of this microphone available too. Right, let's get this out of the way because it, it's going to be in the way, let's be honest. And I'll get on to the next microphone. Okay, so you've seen those two microphones. They're really good value. However, you want to spend just a little bit more money and have a couple more options with your desk microphone, then this one's going to be for you. It's Yesu's M100 desk microphone. Here we go. Now, the additional benefits of the M100, what are you getting for your money basically? So you're, you're obviously gonna be paying a little bit more than the M70 and the M90. It's a dual element microphone. So you're gonna have that condenser element in there and also a dynamic microphone element, which you can adjust. 
We've got the C for condenser, we can switch that in if need be, or we can have dynamic element as well. So again, it depends on the radio that you're using and how you want to adjust the settings. You can basically play away to your heart's content. So, you know, if you're sitting on 40 meters with your friends or on 80 meters, I've heard you on there. You can have a good play with this and you'll get hours of fun, hours of fun. You've got your high and low cuts as well. Again, nice soft uh, touch PTT and the lock as well. So on the back, those exact same connections as you had on the previous microphones make this really, really easy to use. And that's a nice looking microphone. I'm not sure about you, but uh, I used to quite like the old MD200 microphone, which was the uh, one that looked like the BBC kind of broadcasting microphones. But this, this is a lovely design. I have kind of moved things on a bit now. Okay, moving on from the M100 onto uh, a microphone that if you've got quite a few pounds more that you want to spend, take a look at this. Here we go. So the M1 microphone. What can we say about the M1 microphone? Well, features, features galore on the M1 microphone. I'm going to turn this around to the other camera here so you can have a look and tilt it. So you'll notice that the head unit is much the same. So again, it's that dual elements. However, you've got full graphic equalization available from the base of the microphone. Now, as I said, if you're sitting on 80 meters and you're playing around with your audio, think of the hours of fun you can have with this. It's gonna be, you're gonna be there for hours and hours and hours and hours, because you can literally make all your adjustments here on the base of the microphone. It's never gonna be an issue. And again, that soft touch PTT, you've got your lock on there, and this lovely uh, LCD display as well. So you can take a look at the graphic on there and basically see where you're doing your cuts, you know, boost a bit of mid, everything, everything is available on this microphone. Yes, it is quite expensive. You know, I'll be the first to say that. You know, I know I work in a shop and I'm trying to sell you the, the microphone, but it's gonna cost you a few pounds but it is more than worth it, that's for sure. And again, on the back here, we've got the RJ connection, we've got the eight pin, and we've also got the XLR on there as well. So if you're running the 101, you know, you spent all that money on the radio, let's go for the M1 microphone. You can run XLR straight into the radio. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. But as I said, this is a special little treat for yourself. So uh, put a few pounds aside and get yourself an M1. Right, let's move on from this. That's the microphones out of the way. And now we're gonna look at tuners. So are there tuners available in the Yaesu range that you can add to your Yaesu radio? Yes, there are, yes, there are. Only a couple, but I'm gonna go, go and get them for you now. Right, as if by magic, we now have our first tuner on the desk. Now, if you took uh, Yaesu up on their special offer of the FT891, then you may want a tuner for it. And you probably are gonna want a tuner for it, especially if you're going out and about portable. Now this is Yesu's FC50 tuner. As you'll see, absolutely nothing on the front at all. On the back, we've got our inputs and our outputs, SO239s, and we've got a controller cable as well. So basically controller cable links to your FT891. So there's the uh, patch lead from the tuner to the radio and then off your coax to your antenna that you're gonna use. And then what you do is you can either mount the radio on top or have it separate. I kind of like to see it when it's mounted on top. So you've got one little package, small footprint, and assign a tuner in your menu, hit tune, that's it. Away you go, it's as simple as that. There's not really much I can say about this apart from it works. It will tune most antennas that you're gonna use when you're out and about portable. Um, Obviously, if you're going to be running random wires, make sure that you're running unends or balance with them, but it will do the job for you. And it's that lovely small package that you can get with the 891 sitting on top. So FC50 uh, is the one to go for. Right, don't have an 891? You've bought a FTDX10, for example, or 710? Got something for you as well. Here we go. So this is the FC40 from Yesu. And what you'll probably notice here is again, we've got our inputs and uh, outputs control cable here as well. And then it's gonna be the little wing nuts on the top here. And it's basically a random wire tuner. So fully automatic once you've connected it to a Yaesu radio, 
Um, you literally undo this, put your hot wire onto there, i.e. your antenna element, and then you can put your ground onto here as well. Now, good thing about these is you can leave them outside. They are waterproof, that's not an issue. You know, as I see, you've got coverings here as well for your plugs and adapters. And it's, as I said, it's a simple, simple solution. If you want an additional external tuner on your ace, you might find that you're just struggling a little bit to tune because of you know, the three to one, five to one ratio on the actual radio itself. So FC40, great little bit of kit. Ideal, as I said, if you want to put a permanent install in the shack or even if you want to go portable. Okay, so moving on to the next accessory for your Yaesu radio that you picked up in the summer sale. Speakers. Okay, so speakers. What's on offer? Well, did you buy an FT710? I bet you did, because they were very, very cheap, that's for sure, and they still are. Still a good deal. So, and if you did, and you went for the filled version, because you said, oh, I don't really need that speaker. Don't really need it. And now you found out that you do need that speaker. So I go for this. This is Yaesu's SP40. And this is the speaker that will bolt onto the side of your FT710 field. You'll see here, it's got the mounting holes. You just literally change the bolts over on the side and then this hooks onto it. And then you've got your 710 with your speaker. Okay, so there you go, the SP40, the ideal accessory really for your 710. Okay, what about if you bought a 991A? Well, if you did buy a 991A, then you want to grab one of these. It's the SP10 from Yesu. Again, nice simple design speaker, audio out the front as it should be, and your connection on the back is via a phono socket this time, so slightly different. Anyway, on to the next speaker. What about if you bought that A91 and you've got it in the car and it's a little bit noisy? Well, you can grab one of the MLS range of speakers. That's not the Martin Lynch and Sons ones. That is actual Yesu's model number for these. So you either got the 100 or the 200, which is either the round one here or the rectangular unit. Make sure you call the guys though before you buy one of these because they do come in mono and stereo. So we want to make sure you get the right one for your radio. Okay, you bought an FTDX10 or you bought a 101. Well, look, I don't have any speakers here. Why? Because they're so popular. The additional speakers for the FTDX10, the SP30s, I'm currently waiting on a new delivery for, and also the SP101s for the Yaesu FTDX101s. I'm waiting for those as well. They were that popular over the offers. People did add them on. However, if you don't have one, why not? Okay, so we're going to leave the speakers there. Wasn't really much to say about them, was there? And we're going to move on to random accessories i.e. what extra things can you put with it and what should you have bought with it? I'll show you now. Bear with me a second. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, why have I got this out? Well, because you've already bought one and you've bought that extra speaker. And as soon as you spent so much money on that new radio, this is one item you really must buy. You really must buy one of these. Protect what you've paid for. It's one of these beautiful prism covers. Here we go. It's a snug fit onto the radio and the speaker. Um, basically, Prism do these for any type of radio. It's not only Yesu. Official license lettering on top. And you can't go wrong, really. I mean, you spent thousands of pounds, so why not protect it? Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next one now. So bear with me a second. It is another cover. Did you buy the FT5 in the deal? Then you need one of these. The SHC40, which is... a uh, available from stock and we bought plenty of these to go with the ft5s pop it on and you're going to be covering your 300 pound plus handheld and a little bit of protection on there for you it's not a problem okay next one on before you put those covers on of course give it a clean martin's super special foam cleanser is available you'll get this and you can also get the microfiber cloth as well to go with it that's quite a uh, Good value treat for yourself there. You're not going to be spending sort of 20, 30 pounds. You can just buy that, add it onto another order. Keep that radio clean. Okay, moving on. FT5. How about a little SSM BT20? So the little Bluetooth headset, which pairs up with your FT5. Great if you're driving in the car and you just want to have a little listen and maybe just access the repeater. So these are very good value as well. Well under 50 pounds for these. Okay, moving on, wires X. So you can connect your FT5 onto the system fusion. 
wires Xbox, absolutely ideal again if you're running uh, an FTM 500, you can attach these to the uh, FT710 as well. So moving on from that, we've got the SCU LAN 10. Now you know how much I go on about operating remote and the fact that we can now do it in the UK. SU LAN 10, these are on back order at the moment. We've got a huge order in place for these. What I will say, if you do want to reserve one, please get your order in now. This is what you need. Attach this to your FTDX 101, put it onto your 710, and then you can access your radio remotely, which is great because if you're at work and it goes quiet, CQDX. Right, moving on from that, last but not least, I'm gonna do these as a pair because I'm running out of time again. Nifty manual. And of course, the wonderful, wonderful Radio Today books as well. So available for all of the radios that you probably would have purchased during the ASU uh, summer sale. Nifty Guide, very good if you're basically just checking what button do I need to press to do this or what button do I need to press to do that. You look it up in the Nifty Guide. Okay, Radio Today, if you want to know a little bit more about your radio, some of those additional features that you may or may not use all the time, this is the book to go for, and these, these are absolutely superb, these books. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching this week. Um, this coming weekend, I'll be at the RSGB convention alongside Richard and Dave. Please come and say hello. If you've never been before, they also do day tickets, so it's worth checking out the RSGB website. And then uh, I think we're back to normal the following week, and we're going to try and get some more videos of us out and about. So again, apologies for any of our rushed videos over the last couple of weeks. You know what it's like, really busy period here, and that's because of you. So thank you. See you soon. Bye.